Okay, have you watched the the video that I've put in the YouTube? The one that I've given to you last last Sunday ke? Ada tengok tak? Ada tengok? Tengok tapi tak habis lagi. Ada tak yang belum tengok? Because today I want to continue with another example. Same procedure. So kena tengok yang tu dulu baru boleh faham the whole uh, the whole process. The whole process. So okay tak apa. Kita review sikit ya video tu sebelum uh, kita start dengan example. Okay. Okay, for the uh, explanation ni, uh, I think you can read on your own. So, if you have any question regarding this, nanti uh, just uh, PM me lah. I will explain to you further. Okay, so I straight away uh, go to the example and solution here. Okay, example and solution here. Okay. Okay, basically, uh, in this example, when you see the, uh, okay, the question here is actually the procedure. Okay, the procedure. So when when we want to analyze, uh, uh, when we want to analyze beam, to analyze uh, beam or frame, basically the same, eh? Basically the same. Okay. Basically, it is the same. So we will have uh, the several steps that we need to follow. Number one, okay, the objective is uh, this. Okay, unknown displacement and, and the reaction. Unknown re displacement and the reaction. However, before we can get the unknown displacement as well as reaction, we have to follow all these steps. We have to follow all these step okay so what is the step so one by one okay number one we have to establish element global stiffness matrices element global stiffness matrices ni k lah okay k1 and k2 k1 and k2 and then structure stiffness matrix is capital k okay we we use capital and uh, small letter Okay, we use capital letter. We use uh, we use capital letter for the structure, and we use uh, the small letter for the element. Okay, number two, we have to establish the element equivalent nodal forces. This is uh, actually part of uh, intermediate loading. Intermediate loading, yang ni tak ada dalam trust. 
intermediate low loading. Intermediate loading means ada loading on the structure. Ada loading, uh, bukan on the structure, ada loading on member. On member. Kalau dalam trust, uh, normally uh, trust ni kalau ada loading, dia akan loading tu dia akan subjected at nodes. Yang tu kita panggil dia nodal force, nodal forces. But uh, kalau for yang ni, yang uh, beam, beam ni dia akan adalah UDL semua tu kan. Uh, so UDL point load at not at the center ni, uh, yang ni kita panggil dia inter uh, intermediate loading. Okay, kita panggil dia intermediate loading. Okay, intermediate loading. So intermediate loading ni uh, means that uh, because in stiffness matrix method ni, we cannot uh, analyze, we cannot analyze uh, mid span punya value, mid span displacement ke kan. So we only can calculate the uh, the displacement and the forces at nodes. So whatever, uh, for example, loading subjected on the member, so we need to distribute it to the nodes. Kena distribute dulu baru boleh ana analyze. Okay, the intermediate loading. So intermediate loading ni kita kena analyze. Okay, analyze uh, using okay uh, using uh, formula we get for, uh, from fixed and reaction appendix page three, which is basically the behavior whenever the beam uh, is subjected to loading. Dia uh, kalau uh, fixed end moment ni kalau you are from uh, kalau you are from matrix uh, mungkin tak pernah dengar lagi. Tapi kalau you are from diploma, uh, actually fixed end moment ni dah pernah pakai dulu masa uh, diploma under topic moment distribution method. Moment distribution method. Dah pernah jumpa lah. And fixed end moment ni is actually the behavior. Okay, behavior uh, in order to counter back, counter back uh, to balance lah, to get balance, to get equilibrium condition, kita kena buat lah benda ni. Okay, number three, kita form the stiffness equation. Stiffness equation is also uh, called as force displacement equation. Force displacement equation. Uh, equation. And dah ada force displacement equation ni, baru boleh solve for the unknown displacement and unknown reaction. So step ni, satu, dua, tiga, satu, dua, tiga step ni, memang you tak boleh skip. Sebab kalau you skip, you tak akan dapat yang uh, kita punya objektif tu. Memang kena go one by one. Kita go one by one. Okay, so. Okay, yang ini just saya tunjukkan how we distribute, uh, apa, we we sketch. Okay, we have to, to differentiate uh, unconstrained system and constrained system. Kita tengok video balik. Memang kan you can, yang this is the most important part. Kalau you tak boleh label this properly, uh, you tak boleh identify which is constrained and unconstrained, ini memang akan akan efek jawapan lah yang tu yang ni yang paling penting. Okay, tengok balik video. Okay, yang ni step biasalah uh, yang uh, you just have to refer formula to get the the K value but the most important part here is label lah, label. 5, 6, 4, 2, 4, 3, 2, 1 ni label ni be depend on yang this diagram also. Okay, kita akan analyze one by one. Okay, one by one element. So for each element, we have near node and far node. So at near node, we have uh, YZ. At far node, we have another YZ. So that is why dia jadi YZ56, uh, YZ42. Near and far. Okay, uh, for example. So kita dapatlah uh, K1 and K2. So K1 and K2 tu, dia punya matrix 4 by 4. Sebab one element consists of two nodes and one node consists of uh, four degree of freedom. Four nodes ada, uh, uh, one element ada four degree of freedom. So that is why element stiffness matrices, uh, dia ada four by four. Dia akan fix lah big kalau element mesti four by four. So satu element ni, satu element, uh, satu element dia takkan jadi tiga. Satu element mesti dua. One element dia mesti ada satu near node, satu far node. Itu maksud element. Kalau tiga dah tak jadi node. Kalau tiga jadi structure. Okay, dia ada near node dengan far node. So each node ni dia ada YZ, YZ. So that is why kita label 5, 6, 4, 2, 4, 2, 3, 1. So uh, label tu yang paling important. Because kalau you salah label, you akan dapat salah structure stiffness matrix ni lah. 
Okay, so label betul-betul lah structure stiffness metric. Okay, uh, then sini. Okay, after that we need to analyze the intermediate loading. Okay, we have to analyze uh, the equivalent nodal forces. Uh, uh, equivalent nodal forces yang inilah, yang ini equivalent nodal forces. This is for the structure, that's why kita pakai simbol capital. So for element, kita pakai simbol uh, small letter. For the element, so ada element 1, element 2. So kita letak note tu untuk differentiate between nodal forces and equivalent nodal forces. Nodal forces ni, Q yang ini, nodal forces ni means that forces subjected directly to nodes. Contoh kalau in this case, Kalau ada moment, sebab moment ni memang dia uh, apply terus dekat node, moment. Moment dia tak apply dekat uh, member, moment dia apply dekat node. So moment memang dia adalah Q. Okay, tetapi kalau dia point load, kalau dia uh, w, uh, w, UDL, uh, yang tu memang kena calculate under intermediate loading iaitu uh, equivalent uh, nodal forces. Okay, so step dia please tengok balik video. Okay, so kita akan dapatlah Q1 node, uh, position ni sama, 5642 dengan 4231 tu sama. Lepas tu uh, kita akan combine sebab yang ni adalah degree of freedom eh. So yang kita label ni is the degree of freedom. This is also degree of freedom. So means that kalau kita nak cari for position 1, kita akan refer to 1 lah, 2. Sini ada 2, sini ada 2. So kena refer lah dua-dua value tu. Macam kita buat K juga. So kita akan dapatlah yang ni Q0. Q0, uh, Q0 dia ada 6, 6 because 6 DOF. Lepas tu all nodal forces Q as well as nodal uh, displacement D semua kena tulis in matrix form. Okay. So dekat sini satu lagi yang important sebab you should be able to know dalam Q mana yang mana yang kena letak value Dalam Q, mana yang kena letak value, mana yang kena biar as unknown. Okay, sama juga dalam D, mana yang kena letak value, mana yang kena biar as unknown. Okay, ha, itu kena tengok balik video. Okay, after that kita akan write uh, the stiffness equation or force displacement equation. Q, yang ni formula dia Q is equal to uh, Q K D plus Q naught. This is Stiffness equation or also called as force displacement equation. Okay, force displacement equation. So, uh, once we have this, okay, once once we have this, kita nak solve dia kan since yang ini semua zero. Sebab apa dia zero? Sebab dia dekat support. Dia zero sebab sebab four, three, four, five, six ini dekat support. So, bila dia dekat support, Bila dia dekat support, displacement zero. So, bila displacement zero, we are actually analyzing Dia ada boundary dia. Dia ada boundary. Dia ada boundary. Ini dia punya boundary. Maksudnya we only analyze this. Sebab yang lain-lain ni dia akan kali dengan kosong dapat kosong. Okay so we simplify dapat yang bawah ni. Okay yang bawah ni apa nama dia? Structure stiffness equation or force displacement equation corresponding to unconstrained degree of freedom. Corresponding to unconstrained degree of freedom. Okay, uh, so dah dapat yang ini, it is just like two simultaneous equation and then we uh, solve the equation, then we will get displacement D1 and D2. So dah dapat displacement, kita kena faham juga displacement D1 and D2 memang dia number tapi you have to be able to represent to what? Okay, D1. 1 and D2. Dia 1 and 2 ni depend pada kita. Di first first diagram yang kita draw. Kalau kita label yang itu, so depend on label kita. Okay. Dia depend on label kita. Okay. So we must understand that uh, degree of freedom ni. Degree of freedom. Okay. Dia punya the, the straight definition of degree of freedom. Is actually displacement component. Displacement component means displacement lah. Displacement. Tapi this uh, degree of freedom ni kita nak tengok. Kalau displacement uh, Q dengan D lah. Q dengan D. Sebab displacement ni dia occur 
due to forces. Kalau tak ada forces, there, there is no displacement. That is why walaupun definition degree of freedom ni, dia displacement component. Tapi we must remember that we have to look at uh, it into two ways. Iaitu displacement and forces. Kenapa nak tengok forces juga? Sebab without without forces, no displacement. Yang boleh ada yang boleh ada displacement tu sebab ada forces. Okay. So, kena tengok uh, in terms of Q, in terms of D. That's why dalam equation kita tu ada D dengan Q disambungkan dengan K as coefficient. That's why kita dapat Q is equal to KD. Okay, Q is equal to KD. K ni apa? K ni coefficient. Cuma tambah tambahan B ni dia ada Q, dia ada Q naught. Okay, tambahan dia ada Q naught. Okay, jadi... Uh, Bila jawapan dia ni D1 and D2 sebenarnya you have to know D1 tu represent to representing what D2 representing what. Okay so kena tengok baliklah beam tu try to imagine beam after uh, beam tu ada ada loading ada, ada loading okay ada loading ada loading tak kisahlah what type of loading so dia akan bend. Bila bend ada ten, ada curve Sebab dia pin dia ada curve so tangent line kepada curve tu is the rotation. So D1 is actually D1 kalau kat sini kita label dia as kalau lah dekat sini kita label dia as A, B, C cara conventional kita label structure kan. So D1 tu makna dia theta at C sebab dia tangent ni tangent ni theta at C. Apa theta at C ni? D1 tu. Ni, theta at C yang ni. Ha, so, yang ni adalah theta at C. Kita ikut apa kita label. So, kalau uh, D2 pula, D2. D2 tengoklah D2 kita label kat mana? Dekat B. Uh, ada pin. So, pin ada. Sini ada rotation. So, rotation sini rotation dekat B. So, yang ni adalah rotation dekat B. Okay, that is why uh, sebenarnya unit dia is in radian. Okay, unit dia is in radius sebab dia rotation. That's why important. Kalau contoh, uh, dia dalam arah Y. Uh, dia, dia dia bukan radian lah. Uh, dia delta. Delta unit dia meter. Okay, so yang ni saya dah actually dah explain. Yang ni uh, is how we uh, establish, bukan establish dah. How we determine uh, reaction at the support uh, whenever we have uh, we we have uh, had the value of displacement. Ah, ini yang saya explain lah. Yang saya explain dalam dalam video tu lah dalam video tu. And for checking, for checking kita boleh terus uh, dah dapat Q3, 4, 5, 6 ni. Uh, kita draw the diagram. Kita put all the forces that we get. Put all the loading and then we can check for equilibrium. We can check for equilibrium. So, dah dapat all zero, then, uh, then means that we can uh, also have a shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. Baru boleh lukis lah. After you dah check, dia dapat zero. Because kalau you check dia tak balance, means dia bukan zero. Tak boleh close the loop bila you draw diagram. Okay, so all this I have explained in my video. I uh, have uh, posted uh, in the... Team. Hari apa? Hari Ahad lepas. Okay, so kita akan tengok one example. Uh, bukan one, one example. Kita akan buat one one uh, question together today. Okay, this one I just pick from past year's exam paper. This is question from uh, EC220. Code uh, ECS468. Uh, khusus ni offer di Shah Alam. Actually ECS468 ni is the same the same course. Okay, cuma di Shah Alam, uh, uh, this indeterminate structure, dia run under nama code tu lah, ECS468. Okay, dan dekat Penang, uh, kita run this uh, subject or this course under code CES521. Okay, kita tengok this, this question. Okay, sebab dah ada few, uh, actually ada banyak lagi video yang saya dah upload uh, last semester previous last two semester last three semester regarding uh, beam analysis nanti you juga boleh tengok yang itu so since pagi tadi kita dah saya dah tunjukkan one full example uh, daripada daripada start sampai habis lah sampai macam mana nak kira Q uh, reaction yang ada support so this time saya nak masuk satu effect sikit so the effect I'm uh, the effect here is the settlement 
the settlement. Okay, kita tengok question first. Kita tengok question. Okay, a continuous steel beam, a continuous steel beam uh, shown in figure Q2 carries a uniformly distributed load of 20 kN and applied moment of 50 kN. Okay, ada uh, UDL sini, UDL 20 kN but uh, in this case 20 kN ni dia apply along the uh, the the beam daripada A sampai C but the EI is not constant. Okay, that's why they draw macam tu. Lepas tu ada applied moment. Remember tadi I have mentioned to you applied moment ni dia Q. Uh, dia applied moment ni dia Q lah. Dia Q. Okay, applied moment Q. Lepas tu yang UDL ni, UDL ni kan dia, uh, this UDL is Q0. Beza eh. Uh, yang ni moment, moment ni Q, UDL ni is uh, Q0. Okay, kita tengok soalan dulu. Dia kata derive, derive the element force displacement relationship in global co global coordinate assemble the global stiffness equation and solve for the non zero degree of freedom so memang banyak term uh, under this topic there are uh, more than one term okay for example you have to know what is actually non zero degree of freedom uh, yang ni saya dah explain dah ni dalam video tu what is actually non zero degree of freedom non zero degree of uh, freedom okay and then you have to know that uh, what is actually force displacement relationship force displacement relationship ni is actually q is equal to kd and for b we have to add q not sebab dia ada q not in the system okay derive the element force Uh, displacement relationship in global coordinate. Global coordinate ni I have explained uh, ada dalam video yang previous video ada dalam uh, okay I have explained to you before 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 last week jugalah kan global coordinate. So sebab apa dia ada global coordinate ni dia, dia sebab ada exist. Okay dia ada exist sebab dia uh, dia ada local system dia ada global system. So the one that we use to analyze the analyze Tak kisahlah dia thrust beam or frame kita memang refer kepada global coordinate system. Okay, assemble global stiffness equation. Global stiffness equation. Uh, global stiffness equation and solve for the non-zero degree of freedom. Okay, what is definition of non-zero degree of freedom? Siapa tahu apa dia? Non-zero degree of freedom ni. Non-zero degree of freedom. Siapa boleh... Uh, bagi tahu apa dia non zero degree of freedom in this context apa dia non zero degree of freedom apa dia non zero degree of freedom tak tahu ini tak tahu So actually kalau siapa yang dah tengok dia, dia insyaAllah boleh boleh tahu kot apa dia non zero degree of freedom ni. Okay. Uh, degree of freedom itself makna dia apa? Degree of freedom. Tadi saya mention. What is actually the meaning of degree of freedom in simple word? Degree of freedom. What can you imagine degree of freedom? Freedom of Degree of freedom ni displacement. Displacement component. Degree of freedom means displacement component. Makna je displacement lah ni. Displacement component. Tadi baru cakap. Okay kenapa uh, kalau dia displacement component. Kenapa uh, nak relate dengan Q? Kenapa nak relate dengan D? Uh, kenapa nak relate dengan Q sekal kalau dia displacement kan? Why? Because when there is no displacement and eh, when there is no forces, there is no displacement. So D memang depend on Q. Without Q, there is no displacement. That's why when we analyze this, we have to have displacement as well as Q. Okay? Because D to uh, D to influence by Q. So degree of freedom ni maknanya displacement. Displacement. Apa dia non-zero? 
Apa dia lawan kepada zero, uh, non zero? Apa dia lawan pada non zero? Kalau ni non, uh, kalau kalau apa? Zero uh, uh, non zero lawan dia? Non zero lawan dia? Non zero lawan dia? Zero ni Zero. Non zero lawan dia zero. So non zero lawan dia zero. Okay. Kalau this, uh, degree of freedom ni is displacement, we can also write non zero degree of freedom as as non zero displacement. So kalau non ada kat sini ada non zero displacement. Satu lagi zero Displacement, non-zero displacement and zero displacement. So what is difference between non-zero dengan zero displacement? We will go back to definition of unconstrained and constrained. Kan kita ada constrained, constrained and unconstrained. Okay, kita tulis unconstrained dulu. We have unconstrained. And constraint. Ada two condition. Unconstrained, constraint. What uh, in simple word, what is actually constraint? Kalau in terms of displacement. Okay, in terms of displacement. Okay, and tadi back to yang tadi. In terms of displacement. Okay, now we have non-zero displacement. We have zero displacement. Okay, we have non-zero displacement. We have zero displacement. Kita nak masukkan non-zero displacement dengan zero displacement ni dalam dua-dua ni. So which one? Which one zero displacement? Unconstrained or constrained? Constrained. Constrained. Kenapa? Constrained. Ya. Kenapa? Sebab uh, displacement equal to zero. Sebab dia tak bergerak. Sebab apa? Eh, sulap. Distracting. Sebab dia tak gerak. Sebab dekat situ is support. Constraint means support. So bila ada support, dia bergerak tak? Tak. Tak bergerak. Okay, bila tak bergerak, displacement dia zero. Inilah dia zero, zero, displacement or zero, Degree of freedom. Okay. So unconstrained semua dia opposite. Unconstrained semua dia opposite. So kalau uh, constraint means support. Unconstrained means. Unconstrained means. No. Unconstrained means no support. Okay, kalau displacement in constraint system is equal to zero, unconstrained? Unconstrained? Non-zero. Non-zero. So, this is non-zero displacement or non-zero degree of Freedom. Zero degree of freedom. Okay, yang ni kena fahamkan dulu. This is very important. Yang ni yang kena fahamkan dulu.
think okay, the first, then only you can understand the whole lah, what, what is actually the question needs. Okay, uh, that is the first one. Tu yang ramai uh, student, bila dia don't understand the uh, the definition of degree of freedom ni, the definition of degree of freedom dia buat dah. Actually, stiffness method ni is one of the topic yang you actually can have, can get full mark. Sebab dia punya prosedur, uh, tu macam straight, uh, dia macam you follow je the prosedur. Tapi kalau that term, Uh, yang you tak understand macam yang tadi tu kan Tak tahu pun apa dia degree of freedom So kadang-kadang bila buat kan dia tak tahu definition Dia akan buat A sampai Z lah Normally soalan-soalan stiffness method ni Dia punya prosedur dia kan panjang Step by step ada 6 ke 7 prosedur So basically kalau student dia tak faham term Bila ada je soalan stiffness method ni kan Dia akan start lah buat A sampai Z Padahal soalan tu baru minta separuh je Separuh je ha. So you have to understand. Okay, then uh, B, B if the, if the center support means support B lah, is support B settle. There is a settlement given in uh, at support B. Okay, determine the reaction. Yang ni dia minta Q. Dia minta, kalau atas ni dia minta unknown displacement yang atas ni is unknown displacement Okay, yang bawah ni dia kata determine reaction at support. Determine reaction at support ini unknown. Unknown reaction. Unknown reaction. Uh, cuma in this case, in this case there is a settlement. Settlement, so when when uh, when settlement is given in the question, uh, You, we have to consider this settlement in the calculation. Okay, in the calculation. Actually, solution settlement ni is just mathematical mathematical process. We solve uh, the unknown displacement as well as unknown reaction uh, using uh, matrix multiplication. Matrix multiplication. And and last, the last question is sketch the bending moment diagram. Okay, the bending moment diagram. Okay, given E is 200 GPA and I is equal to 300 uh, exponent 6 millimeter 4. Okay, so kita, we will start with uh, number 1. Okay, uh, let's do it together. Okay, I want you to uh, calculate as well. Okay, to calculate as well. Okay, uh, we will start with analyzing or establish uh, the establish the stiffness, uh, the element global stiffness matrices. That is actually the first thing that we need to uh, identify. We need to what establish stiffness element global stiffness matrices. Stiffness matrices. Element, okay, is for member. Element is for member. So when we use element, remember the symbol must be, uh, must be in a uh, small letter, small letter. Global because we have to refer to the global system, global coordinate system. Okay, stiffness, stiffness matrix means K. Stiffness itself is K. Matrices ni uh, means that we need to give in matrix form. And why matrices? Sebab uh, we have to have, uh, we have K1 and K2. Okay, so we have uh, K1 and K2. And in this case, this is that quite direct question because the length, the length for element number one and element number two is same. Means that we, we only calculate the K1. We only calculate the K ones, and and uh, the label tu, the label is different lah, label is different. But before we can uh, determine or establish element global stiffness matrices, we have to do this part first. Okay, we have to do this part. Means that we have to analyze. Okay, uh, draw this. We need to sketch, sketch the beam. Okay, according to unconstrained and constrained system. Macam ni. Okay, kita kena sketch. So, yang ni. One for unconstrained and one for constrained. Okay. There are three nodes. There are three nodes. 
One, you need sketch je. Two, three. Okay, the same for the other one. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, the simple way to... The simple way to... Determine number of, of freedom in constraint system is by looking at the diagram. Okay, and conventionally, when we look uh, at uh, when we look at this diagram, we know that okay, at A, A ni ada fix, fix normally fix a uh, fix has three uh, three unknown reaction, three unknown reaction. Okay, X, Y, and Z direction kan. Normally, bila kita analyze contoh cantilever beam ada fix kan, kita akan letak 1, 2, 3 kan. Uh, 1, 2, 3. But remember, the sign convention for, sign convention for uh, stiffness method, we only count Y and Z. We only count Y and Z. Y and Z. Z, we must count in counter uh, counterclockwise direction counter clockwise direction okay y upward okay means that dia fix when dia fix fix uh, okay fix ni konsep dia dia ada 3 tapi we don't have to count x so we count 2 uh, 2 dof at a 2 dof in we talk we talk about the constraint system first yeah the constraint system first so we only count Two degree of freedom, okay. Two degree of freedom, okay. Uh, at B, B is roller, okay. B is roller, roller. We have B Y like this. We have C Y like this, okay. Okay. In constraint system, there is okay B Y and B Y and then C Y, okay. B Y and C Y ni. Constraint lah, constraint. So kat sini ada 1 DOF. 1 DOF. Because it refer, it referring to this. Okay, and another one is this 1 DOF. Because it is referring to this. Okay, yang uh, 2 DOF tadi, dia refer kepada Y as well as moment tu lah. Okay, yang ni yang saya tunjuk ni is for uh, constraint system. Means reaction, uh, reaction at the support, constraint, okay, reaction at the support. So two one one means there are four, there are four in constraint system. Four in constraint system. There are two, two in one, one in two, one in three. Okay, the total must be six. Sebab there are three nodes. There are three nodes. So total must be six. So, four have been put under constraint system. So, there are remaining two. Remaining two, we have to complete each node must have two degree of freedom. Each node must, must have two degree of freedom. So, in unconstrained system, at one, we don't have to put any more. Sebab dekat uh, constraint node one, dah, dah pakai, dah letak dua-dua. Okay, and then at node number two, because at constraint system, uh, ada one only, right? So, the remaining, the remaining untuk completekan two degree of freedom per node, dia ada dekat uh, node number two in unconstrained system. Unconstrained system. So, we have to use the direction, okay, the, the direction given, given the sign convention for this uh, stiffness method counterclockwise, yeah? Okay, same goes to three because we need to complete complete six six inside this diagram. Okay, bila label bila label we need to label. Uh, why we need to differentiate this? Because kita nak kita nak tengok uh, mana yang kita nak pisahkan mana yang zero displacement, mana yang unknown displacement, mana yang unknown reaction. For for apa? For easy calculation for e, uh, for easy calculation. Okay, so kita dah pisahkan macam ni, kita dah pisahkan we, we need to label. Label from 1 to 6. Label from 1 to 6. So how to label? We need to label the unconstrained system first. So tak kisah nak label yang ni dulu 1 2 ataupun terbalik. Doesn't matter. Ini 1, ini 2 pun boleh. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's say macam nilah 1 2. Okay, 1 2 
Okay, then only followed by constraint. Constraint. So constraint ni you nak continue macam mana? You nak continue sini 3, 4, 5, 6 pun. Okay. Or if you don't want like this, you want to, you want to label this way. 3, 4, 5, 6 also. Okay. Cuma tips dia, kalau dia yang ada full YZ ni, kita letaklah Y dulu baru Z. That's why 3 dulu baru 4. So boleh je label macam mana pun except you kena di, uh, you kena still di, uh, differentiate do it separately between unconstrained and constrained. Do it separately. Okay like this lah. Okay what what is the reason? Boleh tak you you bagi tahu what is the reason kita pisahkan dua-dua ni? Kalau faham yang atas tadi you boleh jawab jawapan ni. Yang atas tadi ni. Why we need to differentiate between these two system? Constraint system and unconstrained system. Cepat. Ada Nurul Hidayah, ada Nur Amira Nasherina. Sai Saiful da Saif, Saiful, Saiful, Zarif, Abang Nazirul Izzat, Muhammad Amzar, Muhammad Naim. Cepat. Amanda, Rashidi. Any idea? Yes. Because of displacement. Because we need to determine displacement first. Then only we can calculate reaction. Without displacement, we cannot calculate the reaction. Because we calculate reaction uh, with displacement. Okay. We but means that we must determine displacement dulu. Then only we calculate reaction. Okay, that's why, that is the reason why bila label, mesti label dulu unconstrained. Dah dah habis dah unconstrained, baru boleh continue dengan constrained. Okay. Uh, so, so kita akan refer to this untuk kita write the stiffness, uh, establish the stiffness, uh, stiffness matrices, K1 and K2. Okay, please refer to the formula. So, formula... Formula you ada kan? So kat sini pun ada. Formula. This is the formula. Okay. Kalau you tengok dalam this formula. Actually there are four values only. Four repetitive value. So it is 12 over L cube ni satu. And then 6 over L square. And then 4 over L. And then 2 over L. In terms of EI lah. Okay. There are only four values. Okay. That we put into the matrix repetitively lah. Okay, so yang ni, so even though there are these two element has same, same, so I will uh, write it separately. So that nanti mudah lah in terms of nak uh, completekan the structure stiffness matrix ni, tak confuse. Okay, tapi memang ada certain buku, bila dia, uh, bila dia same, same, same length element like this, dia tulis satu ke satu je, dia buat K1 equal to K2. Lepas tu masa label tu dia label buat dua label lah. Label satu untuk elemen one, satu untuk elemen two. Tapi nak senang, kita tulis lah ya. Okay. So yang ini K1 in terms of EI. In terms of EI, it is 4 by 4. Okay, besar sangat ni. It is 4 by 4. K1. Okay, EI rupa pula. EI. Sekejap eh. Sekejap tau, sekejap tau.
Kita dua je naikkan Tak Okay, in EI ya? Eh? In EI In EI Okay, it is 12 over L cube 12 over L cube, berapa tadi? 12, 12 kan? 12 over 6 cube What is the value? Zero point zero five five. Zero point zero five six, yeah. Zero point zero five six. Five six. Okay. So it is zero point zero five six. Okay. Next value. Next value. Six divided by L square, ke? Can. 0.176 Betul? Betul Betul Okay So you bagi tahu eh uh, You please tell me the value So that kita boleh buat cepat sikit lah Okay next value Is it negative 0.056? Betul tak ni? Ah uh, yes Betul Okay So the next value 4 divided by 6 4 divided by 6 berapa? 0.67 Okay kita ambil 3 decimal point eh. 0.67 Okay next value This one Betul? Okay, next value. Next value, refer back to the formula. Next value. 2 divided by L. 2 divided by L. 0.333. Okay. It is uh, 0 0.333. Okay, this is uh, negative 0 0.056, 0 0.167. And then negative 0 0.167, 0 0.333. Next, 0 0.056. Tuh? Betul ke? Betul. Okay, next value. Six divided by L square. Six. It is negative. Zero point one six seven. It is negative zero point one six seven. Lagi, last value. Last value Positive negative Positive Positive Okay ni dah value uh, For the stiffness matrix Element stiffness matrix This is for K1 Okay same with K2 Okay Peace, eh? Peace. Okay, so we have K1 and K2. So, the sama. So, I just copy. So, this is K2. Okay, K1 and K2. Okay, but we need to label the most important part uh, Whenever we establish the element stiffness matrices is the label, is the 
label. Element number one, kita actually dah uh, buat ni this step. This step. Okay, we have element one joining note one, note, note two. And element number two joining note two to number note number three. Two, three. So, one and two. Uh, here is element number one. Yang ni is element number one. Element number one, there is one near note one. Another one is far note. Okay, yang ni referring to element number one lah. Element number one. So, near ada YZ, far ada YZ. Okay, so apa yang kita label dekat near YZ for element number one? It is three, four. Sinilah. Three, four. Note number one kan? Note number one, three, four. YZ. Lepas tu, at note number two, Y dia five. Note number two, Z dia two. So, label, the label become three, four. Five, two. Okay, boleh ikut tak yang tu? Element number one, three, four, five, two. Three, four, five, two. You salah label ni memang habis. 3452. This is the most important uh, part that you need to understand. Okay, kenapa 3452 ni? Three. Okay, this is 3, 4. This is 5, 2. So, kita salin balik je lah kan. This is the element number 1 kan. Okay, so element number 2 pula. Element number two, dia ada dua note juga. Element mesti dua note. It cannot be three. Kalau three tu dia dah jadi structure. Ingat yang tu je. Okay, so we have YZ, YZ. YZ, YZ. Okay. Uh, near dekat element number two. Near dekat element number two is five, two. Nampak tak? Near, near dekat element number two is five, two. Five. This is 5, 2. And far for element number 2 is 6, 1. Y, Z. Faham yang tu? 6, 6, 1. Okay, yang ni yang important. Ya, kalau yang ni clear, insyaAllah yang lain-lain semua clear. So it is 5, 2, 6, 1. Means that So everyone dia takkan dapat sama position tu sebab dia depend on how you label dia kan. Dia boleh je dia akan jadi macam different person different position. Different person different position position. Okay so dah ada these two uh, element stiffness matrices value dalam sama sebab length dia sama. Uh, eh kejap lupa pula nak masukkan. Yang ni, itu EI ni kena masukkan. Tak sempat perasan. Okey, kat sini kena masukkan 2 EI. So, sini tu lah. Sini jadi 2. 2 EI. Okey, 2 EI. So, nak tulis 2 EI macam ni boleh? Nak tulis 2 dah dekat dalam pun boleh. Doesn't matter. Tapi kalau letak 2 macam ni, you have to kali dulu baru tambah nantilah. Okey. Okey. To EI eh, to EI. Tak apalah, sis dah tulis macam tu, uh, I just remain like this. To EI, okay, sebab K2 ni dia 2, okay, 2, we put 2. Okay, so from this we will establish a global stiffness matrix or the beam stiffness matrix or the structure stiffness matrix. Okay, number 2. The structure stiffness Matrix. Yang ni K. Ini capital K. What is capital K? What is structure stiffness matrix? Combination of K kecil lah. Combination of K kecil. How many degree of freedom? Depend on number of node. So, there are three node. So, six degree of freedom. Apa makna six degree of freedom? Means that K that we will produce size dia six by six. So, we will produce this K Okay, yang size dia 6 by 6. 
size dia 6 by 6. Okay, 6 by 6 and uh, position dia in order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In order. Okay, in order. So, kita tengok kat sini the value. Okay, 1, 1. 1, 1. Kita tengok eh. 1, 1 plus. Okay, 1, 1 appears only 1. Okay. Check the position. Check the position dalam K1 and K2. Okay, dalam K1 and K2. So, 1, 1 kat sini ada 0 .0, uh, 0 0.67 kali dengan 2. So, it is 1.334. So, we put it here. Okay, this is position 1, 1. So, now we, we find 1, 2. 1, 2 ada tak kat sini? 1, 2, 2, 1 sama eh. Di simetri 1, 2, 2, 1 it is 0. 0.667 uh, eh. Tadi kita dah bundar di 0. 0.333 kan. Kalau kali 2 yang based on yang tadi tu 0. 0.667 tak apa tak, tak biasa jauh pun. Okay. Uh, tambah dengan ada lagi? 2, 1. Tak ada kan? So only appears 1. So 0. 0.667. So yang ini 0.667. Okay, now move to position 3, 3, 1. 3, 1, there is no 3, 1 in both. Ada tak dua-dua? 3, 1. 3, 1 ada tak? Ada tak 3, 1? Dalam ada. both. Ada. Uh, both ada. One, ada. Uh, okay, kalau tak ada ni, nak letak, nak letak apa kat situ? Zero. Yes. Tak ada tak jumpa value. If you don't if you don't find uh, the value yang you cari tu, you just put zero. So tak ada. There, there is no intersection pun. Okay. Dia zero. So kat sini zero. Zero. And then cari pula 4114. Ada tak 4114 in both K1 tak and K2? Tak. Okay. Tak ada. Kosong. Okay, then cari pula 5-1. Ada tak 5-1? Ada. Okay, 5-1, 1, 5, 0.167 kali 2 eh. 0.334. lah tadi tu. Okay. 0.333. Okay, 6, 1. 6, 1 ada tak? 6, 1, 6, 1. Negative ada. eh. Kan? Betul tak negatif? Sama kan? 167 tadi kan? Yang ini. 167, 61 kan? Negatif kan? Betul. Kali 2 right? Ah, 0.333 or 334 doesn't matter. Okay. So yang ni baru baru settle line number 1. Kita ada 6 by 6 tapi uh, bila nak tulis, just tulis Uh, separuh je sebab dia simetri kan konsep means that bila kita analyze uh, uh, structure ni using uh, this stiffness matrix method kita akan apply all the characteristic of the matrix characteristic of the matrix ni dia simetri right betul tak dia simetri betul dia simetri okay. means that bila dia simetri tak payah tulis lah uh, baris one uh, apa kita dah tulis 1, 2. 2, 1 tak payah tulis lah. Okay, so kita move to 2, 2. 2, 2. Kita tengok 2, 2. Okay, 2, 2 pula. Okay, 2, 2. We have 2, 2 kat sini 0.667 uh, kali dengan 2 dulu. 0.667 kali 2. Okay, plus dengan 2, 2. We have 0.667. Apa dia tu? Tu. Betul tak jawapan dia tu? This is tu. Okay. Dia tambah biasa je lah. Ha, cuma dia punya konsep tu lah. Okay next is 2, 3. 2, 3 ada tak? 2, 3. 2, 3 ada dalam K1. Okay 2, 3 ada dalam K1. Okay, 0.167. 0.167. Okay, 
0 0.167723 and then 24 tengok mana 24 24 0.333 0. 0. 0. 0.333 25 uh, 25 ada 25 bos 25 okey 0 0.167 times 2 25 plus dengan 25 Minus 0.167 kan? Dapat balik 0.167. Betul? Betul. Okay, next. Uh, 2, 6. 2, 6. 2, 6. Okay, appears only once. Okay, 2, 6 is negative 0.167 kali 2 lah. Okay, 0 0.333. Okay, next value. 3, 3, 3. 3, 3 appears only once. Dekat K1, 3, 3 is 0 0.056. 0 0.056. So, yang ni kan, you memang kena X, apa practice dulu untuk practice a lot jugalah untuk clear yang ni lah. Clear in terms of boleh buat dengan cepat and without without uh, apa error value. Okay, three 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 four three four three four three four only appears only once three four zero point one six seven yeah. Negative zero point zero five six. Negative 0 0.056 36 36 Ada 36? No 36 Tak ada Okay Okay next 4 4 Tengok ada tak 4 4 4 4 0 0.667 only Kan 0 4 4 0 0.667 0 0.667 Okay. Saya tak ingat nak buka grid. Mana tak grid dia tu? Tak apalah nantilah. Ah uh, okay. Next for jadi for for kan for five. For five, for five. Zero point one six seven. Yang negatif ya. Negatif. Negatif. Zero point one six. Six. Kertas. Zero point one six seven. Four. Four five. Four six. Four. Four five. Negatif zero point one six seven. Four six. No four six. Zero eh. So this one is zero. Okay. Next move to five five. Five five. Okay, we have 5, 5 here. 0 0.056 times 2. 0 0.056 times 2. Plus with 5, 5. 0 0.056. Dapat apa? 0 0.168? Betul, 0 0.168. 0 0.168. Okay, next. Uh, apa tu? 5, 5, 5, 5, 6. 5, 6, 5, 6, negative 0 0.056. Okay, 5, 6 is zero, negative 0 0.056. Negative 0 0.056. And last value is 6, 6. So, 6, 6 we have 1. Once. In K2, 6, 6 is 0 0.056. Kan? 0 0.056. 0 0.056. Oh, kali dua. Sorry. Jadi berapa? 0 0.112. 0 0.112. Okay. So, yang ni don't forget to put E, I. Tak letak E, I, saya tolak markah. Okay. You must put E, I because all this is in terms of E, I. In terms of E, I. So, this is actually the stiffness, the stiffness matrix for the, for the beam. The stiffness matrix for the beam. 
Okay, next. Once you have, uh, we have analyzed this, we, we will continue with, good, eh? okay, we continue with calculate uh, or analyze intermediate loading. Okay, analyze intermediate loading. Okay, but before that, since dah pukul tiga, kita break sekejap uh, for five minutes, okay? Boleh, okay. madam. Okay, kita akan sambung after this.
Okay. Can we continue? Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Okay. So, after this, we need to establish the the equivalent element nodal forces, which is Q naught. Q naught. Because when we want to analyze this, we have uh, Q is equal to KD plus Q naught. Uh, when you analyze uh, thrust, thrust uh, Q not ni appears only when the thrust has, uh, when the thrust has effect of uh, temperature changes and fabrication error. Yang tu Q not for thrust, but for beam as well as frame, memang always ada Q not come from intermediate loading, come from intermediate loading. So it is. Number three, yeah. Number three, equivalent nodal forces. Equivalent nodal forces. Okay, equivalent nodal forces ni Q. Besar, Q besar eh. Q besar, Q uh, capital Q. And this is equal to Q1 not Q kecil sebab for element. 1 for element number 1, not symbol equivalent nodal force lah. Plus Q2, not. So we will start with, we will start with establish these two value first. Q1 not and Q2 not. Okay, Q1 not and Q2 not. Q1 not and Q2 not ni, they refers, uh, refer to element. Bila they refer to element, automatic, automatic we know that there are four values. Uh, because they, uh, because uh, it refer to four degree of freedom. One element, one element has two nodes. One element has two nodes. So one element, two nodes, two uh, uh, two nodes ada for the DOF. So Q1 node and Q2 node ni is actually this. Q1 node for value. Q2 node pun for value. Okay, for value. So analysis dia element by element. Label we need to still need to label sama macam kita label k k1 and k2 kena label label the same because it it is uh, it refers to element so element number 1 kita salin balik je label ni 3452 for element number 1 3452 this is 3452 for element number 1 and for element number 2 for element number 2 we have Element number two, we have five, two, six, one. Five, two, six, one. Five, two. Okay, now how to uh, to find the value, okay, for Q1 not and Q2 not. Okay, by analyzing element by element. Element by element and we must include with this. Okay, include with this. Page 3, appendix page 3 which is a uh, fixed end reaction. Yang ni pun saya ada explain dalam video tu fixed fix end action. Okay, fixed end action ni intermediate loading lah. So ada loading kan. Kan all this uh, has uh, loading kan. Or the loading, loading semua loading ni intermediate. Okay, all this are uh, intermediate loading. Okay, intermediate loading. Kalau lah contoh P ni, this P. Dia dekat sini. Dekat support. So dia tak jadi intermediate loading. Dia tak jadi Q not. Dia jadi Q. So we should be able to uh, differentiate which one Q not, which one Q. That's why dalam case ni there is no moment. Moment dia moment kalau moment dia apply apply dekat not. So moment dia Q uh, Q bukannya Q not. Q not ni intermediate loading. So all these are intermediate loading. Okay, so what we actually do is we distribute the loading to the nodes distribute loading to the nodes so uh, the nodes the not the join so bila dah calculate memang kita semua akan distribute uh, we need to distribute all the loading so member cannot carry 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 loads we must distribute to the nodes okay member cannot carry load kena distribute to the nodes that that, that is why support tu kena strong okay kena strong okay uh, 
then only the structure will sustain. Okay, go back to that one. This. Okay. So how? Macam mana ni nak letak value dalam ni? Okay, kita tengok element by element. Kita tengok element by element. So again, element ni, kalau soalan ni tadi kan, uh, sama je dua-dua value. Tapi kita kena calculate separately sebab dia punya EI tu not constant. Tapi dua-dua pun 20 dengan 6. Kan? Uh, 6 meter length. 6 meter length. So, Okay, nah six uh, meter length kita tengok kat sini ya. Eh. Okay, ada idea tak macam mana nak kira value ni? Ada idea? Okay, kena buat macam ni ya. Eh. Okay, kita nak distribute the the loading to the nodes. Okay, kita kena refer to appendix. Appendix tu dia explain about the uh, the fixed end reaction. Okay, kalau uh, daripada yang you from uh, diploma dah pernah jumpa lah before this. Kalau uh, you are from matrikulasi, uh, this is the first time lah. Nama dia fixed end reaction. The function is to counter back. Uh, kenapa kita nak counter back because kita nak maintain equilibrium the system must be uh, in equilibrium the system must be in equilibrium so it is fixed ended okay it is fixed ended uh, fixed ended so dia UDL kan UDL so fixed end moment ni or fixed end action ni it is behavior Kenapa behavior? Kalau due to loading macam ni, loading, uh, the band, uh, the beam will bend. So dia ada, dia ada deflection lah maksudnya, dia ada deflection. Ada loading, ada deflection. No loading, no deflection. So ada deflection. Tak jadi lagi. Okay. Tak apalah lebih kurang eh. Okay, dia, dia ada deflection. Ada bending. Okay, deflection. When it deflect, so uh, moment, there will be moment and vertical force at support to maintain equilibrium. So apa uh, support tu buat, dia akan give reaction. Okay, reaction towards loading tu lah. Okay, nama dia, uh, kalau untuk moment, nama dia fixed end moment. Fixed end moment and moment tu, the direction must, must counter back. We apply moment to counter back. We apply moment to counter back. So kita dia nak counter back kan? Dia nak counter back. Dia nak yang ni ni, yang 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 ni, yang ini nak jadikan dia straight balik, kita kena apply moment. Kita kena apply moment arah ni ke? Arah nombor 1 or arah ni ke? Yang mana satu yang kita nak jadikan Uh, yang ini straight balik Number one Number one So that's why Fixed end moment ni Is actually behavior Dia bukan uh, Dia bukan uh, sign convention Macam kalau equilibrium equation tu uh, Yang tu kita boleh apply uh, Kita boleh apply Apa Tak kisah nak apply clockwise boleh Apply anti clockwise boleh And tu sign, uh, sign convention Yang ni dia uh, behavior So tak boleh letak yang nombor tu Because kalau you, you salah letak Dia di, dia represent behavior Kalau salah apply load Kalau salah apply load What happen to the beam Salah bukan apply load Salah apply moment tu What happen to the beam Makin deflect uh, Ya yeah. So dia lama-lama dia uh, 
dia makin deflect, dia collapse lah kan. Dia patah lah. Broken. Kan. Okay. Uh, so, kita kena pilih number one. Pilih number one. So, that is the direction lah. The direction ni maksudnya kena always have this direction of moment. When we have uh, fixed end action ni lah. Okay. When we have fixed end action ni. Okay. Yang tu kalau untuk fix and moment. So fix ada apa lagi? Ada vertical reaction kan? Ada vertical reaction juga. So for the vertical reaction, for the vertical reaction, sebab dia nak dia nak balance yang atas juga kan? So dia ada vertical reaction. And then beam, macam biasalah beam, uh, no no horizontal force lah because horizontal reaction tu value dia zero. No horizontal Horizontal reaction. That is why kita count in stiffness beam ni, kita we only count to Y and Z. X kita tak count. Okay. So tadi value dia berapa? 20 eh. 20 dengan 6. 20 dengan 6 dah kecil besar, kecil besar dah ni. Okay. So value dia 20 ya. Eh? Value dia 20 kilonewton per meter. Length dia 6 meter. Okay using formula. Using formula. Formula ni very common lah. WL, WS square over 12 ni kan. Dengan WL over 2 ni very. Dia ada 4. Dia ada 2 yang very familiar. UDL dengan point load. Point load dekat center. Itu very familiar formula. So I believe everyone uh, can remember it easily. Okay 20. Berapa PL or bukan P? WL, WL over 2 and WL square over 12. Okay, dapat apa? WL over 2. 60? Is it 60? Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Okay, what about WL square over 12? W S square over 12? 60 juga. 60 juga, okay. Oh, ni memang soalan bagi maka free ni. Sama je value. Okay. So, semua value, okay. Uh, Belum habis lagi. Okay, now, this is the fixed end action that we can apply to both element 1 and element 2. Actually kita kena buat dua kali lah. Satu for element 1, satu for element 2. Tapi yang case ni sebab dua-dua element pun sama nilai kan. Uh, so kita refer to the same lah. Uh, cuma kita kena uh, refer to what? Refer to yang ni balik. Okay yang ni element 1, element 2 yang ada dah ada kat atas tadi tu. Element 1, element 2. Kat sini ada. 3, 4, 5, 2. 3, 4 ya tadi tu. 3, 4. Okay, 3, 4. Y, Z, Y, Z kan? Y, Z, Y, Z. Uh, sini near. Sini far. Sini near. Sini far. Kita buat one by one element ya. Eh. Near far, near far. Y, Z, Y, Z. 3, 4. 3, 4. Uh, 5, 2. Yang ini... 4, 5, 2 5, 2 Yang satu lagi YZ, YZ juga Okay, YZ, YZ juga 5, 2 Element number 2 eh 5, 2 dengan 5, 2 dengan apa? 6, 1 5, 2 Ini 6, 1 kan? 6, 1 6, 1 6, 1 5, 2, 6, 1 Okay, so Kita dah letak kat sini tadi Okay So, untuk element number 1 Q1 not, Q1 not So, we must compare uh, uh, This two diagram Diagram ni dengan diagram ni Compare Compare this two diagram Okay uh, 
so all all label DOF tu is for uh, is actually position. Okay, tengok baliklah Q1 note ni. Q1 note position 3, 4, 5, 2. 3, 4, 5, 2. So, compare this two diagram. Mana yang sama dengan 3? Semua 60 lah dalam this case kan. All 60 tapi kena check sign. Dalam case ni semua 60 sebab memang sama value kan. 60. 60 sini, 60 sini, 60 sini, 60 sini. Tapi we still need to refer to this. Okay, 3. 3 means ini 3. Mana, mana yang dalam ni sama dengan dia? Position yang sama. The same position dekat dua-dua diagram tu. Nampak tak? Nampak tak how we compare? Yang ni sebab dia value dia tu sama kan? So mungkin tak, tak nampak sangat. Uh, kalau uh, kalau lain-lain value mungkin lagi akan clear lah. Okay, yang ni 3. So, 3 value dia 60. Arah dia, dua-dua dua dua tu same direction. So, dia jadi positif. Faham tak yang tu? Faham, Madam. Okay. 3, 4 pula. 4. Mana yang compare both two uh, diagram. Compare both two. This, this method, kalau you tengok dalam buku, dia tak tunjuk. Uh, kaedah ni tau. Okay, compare both tu. 4 dengan 60 kan. Position, position 4, value dia 60. Direction dia? Positif. Positif. So, positif. Okay, next. 5. Uh, 5. Mana 5? Yang ini 5. Yang ini 5. Kan? Same direction? Yes. Okay. Ah, so same direction letak je lah 60. Okay last one. Okay 60. 60. Yang ini. 60 ni. Dengan position 2. Kan. Okay same direction or opposite direction. Dengan yang ini. Opposite. 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 So what we, what should we put? For negative. position 2 Negative ah, So sini tetap negatif Okay Faham yang ni? Faham Adam Okay so Faham. yang Yang Q2 note pun sama lah Sama juga 60 60 60 Negative 60 Okay so dah dapat yang ini Kita continue Continue dengan uh, combine these two. We get Q. We get Q. Okay, we get Q. Okay, Q sama macam K. Position dia in order. Means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so 1, 1. What is the answer? Q1 not plus Q2 not? 180? Uh, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Ini 1? 1. Negative 60. Uh. Ah, negative 60. Kita tambah 2-2 tu je. Negative 60. Okay, position 2. Position 2 appear twice. Dekat Q1 not ada, dekat Q2 not ada. Negative 60 and 60. So, dapat apa? Zero. Dapat apa? Okay, dapat zero. Okay, dapat zero. Okay, uh, three. Three? Sixty. Four? Sixty. Four, sixty. Five? Five? Hundred. Hundred. Yes, 120. 6. 60. 60. Okay, dapat. Macam tu je. Okay. Uh, dia actually simple je. Uh, kalau you follow this step, dia simple lah. Uh, because we use diagram, we compare the diagram and we put the value into the matrix. Okay. Tapi kalau you tengok daripada buku, uh, buku ni dia banyak, dia combine all together, dia calculate, dia, dia letak terus the the uh, and fix and action tu dalam one 
full beam Ramai yang bila dia buat kaedah tu Dia akan salah sign Okay ha. so uh, I prefer you uh, Guna this method lah To get the equivalent nodal forces Okay so nak complete kan Because we have K We we have uh, had K Now we have Q naught And to complete Q To complete the equation Kita kan akan complete kan equation Because we will solve for the unknown displacement using equation kan. So empat, uh, we, we we have to solve force displacement equation. Ataupun stiffness equation. Stiffness equation. Stiffness equation. Okay, apa dia stiffness equation tu? Q is equal to KD plus Q0. Okay, KD plus Q0. So, kita dah ada K dengan Q0. We uh, we have uh, Q, Q dengan K. Eh, Q dengan D. Q dengan D. So, Q dengan D ni. Q dengan D ni. Q, Q is nodal. Nodal forces. Okay, D is nodal displacement. Nodal displacement. So, all this must be written in matrix form. Means that Q akan ada Q1 sampai Q6. D pun D1 sampai D6. Means that uh, yang awal-awal tadi, bila kita label D, uh, 1 sampai 6 tu, itu semua position position K, pos, uh, position Q, position D. Okay, position Q, position uh, D. Okay, so buat macam mana tu Yang itu kita Okay, kita refer back to Diagram, main diagram So main diagram we have Saya tengok balik, lupa pula Roller-roller eh So ada 50, 50 tu dekat situ clockwise Wise. Okay, here is roller roller. Sini ada 50 ya tadi. 50 kan? Yes, madam. Okay, 50. Lepas tu dia ada UDL lah. UDL lepas tu EI yang tak constant tu kan. So, uh, ABC. Dia letak ABC. A, B, A, B, C. Kan A, B, C. Lepas tu we have uh, the label. The label we have Y, Z, Y, Z, Y, Z. So bila kita combine tu, bila kita combine dia jadi apa? Dia jadi uh, 3, 4, 5, 2. Here is, this is 3, 4, 5, 2 and then 5, 2, 6, 1 6, 1 macam ni bila kita gabung dia kan ok, 5, 2, 6, 1 so we must also write Q and D in matrix form in matrix form we have to write Q Q is equal to Q ni pun akan ada 6 value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And D also have D eh, eh. Sekejap, sekejap.
Okey, dengarkan. Dengar. Dengar, dengar, okay. dengar madam. Okey, tadi boundary dia yang at first tadi dia ada boundary kat sini kan? Uh, boundary between unconstrained and constrained. Boundary between unconstrained and constrained kita ada dekat uh, one and two. Uh, one, 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 two tu for unconstrained. One, two for unconstrained and constrained. Constrained for three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. And constraint, constraint means support. And unknown reaction ada dekat support. Kan? Unknown reaction ada dekat support. So at support displacement zero. At support displacement zero. So we have to look at this into two uh, condition lah. Q and D. So D also have six value in matrix. Okay in matrix again from one to six. Okay, boundary dia dekat sini. Okay, between unconstrained and constrained. Okay, so we compare these two and the condition must always opposite. Always opposite. So, in this case, Q, uh, Q, Q in constrained system, uh, unknown Q means start from 3. 3 to constrained. And unknown reaction ada dekat constraint. So unknown means dalam this matrix we just put the symbol first. Representing the unknown reaction that we will determine at the end of analysis. Okay so 3, 3, Q3 lah sini. So here is Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6. Okay and then unknown displacement. Unknown displacement is under unconstrained system. Okay. Unconstrained system. Dia sebab dia opposite kan. Kalau satu kat bawah satu dekat atas lah. So unknown displacement ada dekat sini. Unknown displacement ada dekat sini. Okay. Ada dua kan. Unknown displacement. Unknown displacement and unknown reaction. Unknown displacement, where is it in unconstrained system? Unknown reaction, where is it in constrained system? Okay, so yang tinggal yang baki kosong tu, baki yang belum belum, belum letak value tu, nak letak, dah buat apa tu? Nak letak apa kat situ? Apa nak letak dekat yang dekat yang yang tinggal kosong Zero. tu? Zero. Zero. Okay, okay. Kita tengok satu-satu eh. Kita tengok dulu since saya tulis Q dekat sini. So saya tengok Q dulu. Okay, Q1 dengan Q2 represent what? Tengok balik yang ini. Compare position. Compare position 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Sini Q eh. Sini Q. Sini Q. Okay, Q. Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6. Where is Q1 and what is Q1? Q1. We have to put value because uh, in constraint kita dah letak simbol unknown Q3 sampai Q6. In opposite condition, Q1 and 2 in unconstrained system, dia mesti ada value. What is the value? Tengok diagram bawah. Tengok position 1. Okay, position 1. Tengok arah dia. Compare dengan yang atas. Ada tak yang sama arah dengan dia? Sama, sama, sama. Same. Same, uh, kan? Same behavior lah. Sama, 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 sama. Uh, yang ni apa? Ini apa? Ini apa? Moment. Thank you. Mom Moment, moment kan? Ini moment kan? Uh -huh. Ini moment kan? Okay. Means that Q1 tu apa dia? Negatif 50. Yes, negatif 50. So yang ni yang important. Kalau tak boleh letak value ni, so tak boleh analyze lah. So dia akan depend on label kita lah. Kalau you label situ tu, dia jadi Q2 lah. Okay. Okay, now tengok pula diagram. Tengok diagram. Tengok pada diagram. Q2. Q2. Tengok ada tak Q2 dalam diagram atas tu? 
Ada tak? Tak ada. So we should put? Zero. Yes, we should put zero. Zero. Okay, sebab dia, dia dekat unconstrained. Unknown pada constraint. Q unknown pada constraint. So unconstrained, we must put value. When there is no moment, it is zero. Kalau ada moment, letak moment. Tak ada moment, zero. Kita kena faham ya, bila kita tengok degree of freedom ni, when it is in terms of Q, Z dia tu jadi moment. That's why Q1 ni moment, Q2 moment, Q4 pun moment. Sebab label label 4 tu moment dekat A lah. Label 4 tu moment dekat A. Okay, Q4, Q, Q3, Q3, Q3 vertical force. Q3 tu AY. Boleh nampak macam tu tak? Q3 tu AY. Q5, Q5 apa Q5? Q5. BY. Yes, Q5 tu BY. Q6? CY. Yes, Q6 tu C. Why? 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 Okay, we do the same for D. Okay, D. D ni bila dekat support, bila dekat support, displacement dia zero. Kan? Bila dekat support, displacement dia zero. Okay? Except ada settlement. Okay, without settlement, when there is no settlement given in the question, all displacement are zero. Kan? All displacement are zero. In this case, all zero or ada yang ada value? Mana satu yang ada value? Mana satu yang ada value? At B. Uh -uh, dia dah tulis. Uh, dia dah tulis kan? Dekat mana dia, dia tulis position tu? Dekat tiga. In... Uh, dia tulis dekat B. Dekat Kita, B. Dia tulis dekat uh -huh. B. Okay, settle means settle means Y ke Z settle in this case. Degree of freedom for settlement. Y. Yes. For uh, dia position dia Y lah Y. Dekat B. Okay, dekat B kan? Okay, dekat B. Kita tengok balik. Dekat B, kita label apa dekat B? Five. Kita label apa? Kita label apa dekat B tu? Tengok balik, tengok balik, tengok balik. Sini, 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 sini. Sini, sini. Okay, sekejap. Mana dia? Ha ni. Okay, kita label apa dekat B? Nombor, nombor apa yang kita label dekat B tu? Dalam arah Y. Nombor apa yang kita label? Lima. Five. Okay. Okay. Okay, dekat B, dekat sini. Sini B kan? Sini B kan? Settlement dalam arah Y. Settlement dalam arah Y. So, dekat B ada 5 dengan 2. So, so yang which one? 2 ke 5? 5. 5 medium. 5. Okay, 5. So, dekat position 5. Uh -huh. Dekat position 5. So, kita kena letak displacement tu. So dia settle negatif lah. Settle negatif, settle ke bawah sebab dia punya DOF ke atas kan. DOF dia going up, settle ke bawah lah dia negatif. Negatif 0.003 kan. Okay, 0.003. Faham tak macam mana kita letak ni? Faham ni jom. Faham ni dia. Faham ni dia. Okay. okay. It means that dia akan depend pada label kita kan. Kalau 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 orang lain mungkin dia letak uh, kalau position B dia tu pada uh, label 3 dia jadi D3 lah. Macam in this case jadi D5. Sebab kita label dekat 5 tu. Dekat 5 dalam arah Y label kita 5. So kita letak dekat 5. Mungkin ada orang label dia label tu lain dia akan mungkin dia punya D3. Ada orang lain label dia D4. Ada orang lain label dia D5. Ada orang lain label dia D6. This is just the position. Tapi kita kena letak yang betul lah pada kita punya uh, ni kan uh, label. 
pada kita punya D tu depending on label that we uh, first uh, apa label kan that's why awal-awal tadi saya dah tunjuk kita mula-mula saya dah buat apa kita kena label macam mana nak label kena label uh, apa separate between unconstrained dengan constraint okay separate between unconstrained dengan constraint Lepas tu label. Ha, label mesti label dulu unconstrained followed by constraint. Lepas tu Y dengan Z tu kena kena always kena tengok dia as displacement and forces. Okay what is actually this uh, degree uh, the, uh, degree of freedom it is called displacement component. Kalau dia displacement component kenapa nak tengok Q sebab without Q no displacement. When there is no forces no displacement. That's why dia ada relation. Dia ada relation. Okay. So yang ni baru complete lah. Ini baru complete. Then tinggal ganti balik masuk dalam the stiffness equation Q is equal to K D plus Q naught. Tapi dah tak sempat solve kan. Tak apa. Nanti saya akan buat video untuk continue this example. Okay. Saya akan continue this example. Tapi kita akan uh, five ni. Five ni kan. Okay. Nah, this equation. This equation. Uh, we just have to write the equation in matrix form lah. Kita akan dapat macam ni. Kali dengan D plus Q not. Okay plus Q not ni semua 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lah. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay so kita, so kita punya D tu. So ni dia punya solution dia lain sikit lah sebabnya dia ada settlement kat situ. Tapi sebenarnya solution dia tu is only mathematical solution. Dia tak ada kaitan dengan structure dah. Until you get this stage. It is just mathematical solution. Okay, uh, sini D1, D2. Kan tadi 0, 0, negative 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, yang tadi uh, 0 dengan 1, 2, 5 ke? Yang tadi ni. Uh, 50. Negative 50 dengan 0 kan? Okay. Sini negative 50 dengan 0. Okay, uh, so means that dah dapat all uh, Q, Q not D dengan K. So kita rewrite back in stiffness equation. In stiffness equation. But the one that we analyze to solve for the unknown displacement is only yang ini plus yang ini. Sebab ada tambahan 5 sebab 5 ini. Okay, so... Nanti I will continue this uh, by recording video. By recording video. Okay, uh, do you have uh, any question? And maybe I can answer your question in the video. Ada tak? So far tak lagi, Doktor. Okay. Kalau macam tu, uh, please... Uh, can you please switch on your camera for a while for photo session? Okay, mana lagi? Lagi-lagi. So, if you have question, you boleh uh, message saya dekat uh, MT chat ya. Eh? Dekat MT chat pun boleh. Oh kalau kalau segan nak tanya dalam dalam uh, group team kita lah. Oh tanya je just tanya dekat conversation tu nanti saya akan answer lah the question. Madam attendance kira macam mana eh? Nak buka Atten in future Attendance, saya tak key in for your future. Tak apa, tak apa. Saya attendance, uh, saya pakai insight dalam ni. Sebab yang masa Cik Amir pun ada ambil your future ke? Tak. Tak. Ha, tak ada. So, tak yang ada. last week, Mandy, so, yang macam, sebelum cuti tu. 
uh, sebelum cuti tu saya tak sempat verify pun yang tu. So since I, uh, since uh, daripada awal tak pakai you future so kita decide tak payahlah. So saya akan ambil attendance from uh, report yang ini dan daripada inside Microsoft team. And, uh, and acceptable lah acceptable because uh, dalam meeting fakulti memang dah uh, di inform lah attendance can be any evidence lah tak not necessary from you future. Memang ada lecturer yang dia uh, set you future kan. Saya nak saya ingat nak buat tapi sebab bila tengok balik tak daripada awal tak buat so tak apalah kita uh, just uh, take from Microsoft team uh, inside. You tahu tak inside tu apa? So kalau dari awal tu attendance tak kira lah daripada the future. Um, ada tanda ke? Dia kalau kalau Cik Amir ada isi you future baru dia akan appear kan? Ha, tak ada ha, kan? Tak ada tak kan? Ha, kan? Tak ada kan sebab so tak key in kan? Ha, tak, tak, ha, rasa lecturer kena key in dulu baru boleh ha, appear dekat situ. Ha, so tak apa sebabnya dalam Microsoft team ni dia ada satu ha, apps inside nama dia inside yang actually saya boleh ha, tengok ha, your engagement dekat sini. Maksudnya ha, meeting ni kita punya kelas ni how many yang masuk how many absent dibagi tahu kat situ so uh, daily siapa yang masuk siapa yang tak masuk weekly punya report ada yang seminggu tak tak masuk langsung MT uh, tak tengok langsung apa ada dalam ni ah uh, tu dia memang, uh, dia memang akan ada ada record lah uh, so macam submission submission exercise yang mana yang uh, nanti saya akan bagi so you please follow so semua tu akan counter as part of engagement lah engagement okay Uh, so macam uh, kita dah setuju hari tu untuk kelas 2 jam kita akan buat macam ni uh, online kan online live and another one hour tu saya akan bagi uh, video so you watch the video and then you submit exercise lah so maksudnya do, uh, yang you tengok video tu kira attendance so macam mana evidence dia tu evidence dia bila you jawab soalan dan submit balik yang tu okay boleh ya okay so kita Take picture, tak ada dah yang nak, nak, yang nak open camera. Ini saja. Sekejap eh. Okay, tak sempat nak panggil nama seorang-seorang, doesn't matter. Siapa yang tak submit lagi video yang dulu saya ada minta in the first week tu kan, tolong submit. Okay, uh, tak apa, saya dah screenshot tadi. Uh, we will meet again, insyaAllah next week. Tapi you uh, pay attention eh, with announcement yang saya letak dekat dekat group eh, uh, dekat group teams. Okay? Okay, madam. Okay. Okay, so that's all for this week. We close our session with Tasbih Kifara and Surah Wa'as. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Madam. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Madam. Okay, bye. Thank you, Madam. 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 Okay. Oh, there's nothing.